Hey, I'm Blondie here in the Maldives. I'm taking a few days off. I want to show you what's behind this door. This is crazy. It's a sunset villa. Let's go in. <laughs> so this is um, this is like one of the most modern villas in the Maldives. It's floor to ceiling glass windows. How beautiful is this? And then down here. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my god. I'll have to get in later. This is a massive deck that you've got. So up here, they've just told us that you can have a private cinema screening, so I suppose they'll set it up here somewhere. You can get a massage table up here and something else that I want to do in the next few days. They can bring you a bed to your rooftop deck so you can sleep under the stars. That's amazing. I can't wait to do that. I'm just taking a few days off, chilling out for a bit. And the one place that I can truly chill out is the Maldives because there are no cars. <laughs> This is the best villa I've ever stayed in in the Maldives. I've been here a few times before, uh, and this is the most luxe. Luxe. Wow. Yep. It's amazeballs. Flyboarding, um, I've already done it in Dubai. It was awesome, so I'm gonna let Nick have the first go here. Excited? Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, I'm just a bit confused to why you would need to wear a helmet. Well, it's you're gonna fall. It's gonna hurt. So you didn't know it was an extreme sport. <laughs> You'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, good luck. Have fun. See you later, loser. Here you go. Oh, good one. Good one. Woo! Let's go check out one of the most luxurious cars. Back in Dubai and look what I've got in my hands. Luxury. This is the key to the new Bentley Continental GT. Here it is. And I'm gonna take you around. Everyone's been obsessing with the new shape. So we're gonna take a look at a few new key features that I've seen and I personally really like. I wanna start here with these headlights. Take a look at this. It kind of looks like a crystal vase. Can you see those cutaways in there? It's really pretty. They've redone this 12 on the side. That's new. That of course stands for 12 cylinders. It's a W12 six liter engine. This is cool too. So you know when you're parking next to people um, in the shopping center and someone parks super close to you and you're worried about your door like hitting the car next to you, that won't happen with this car. So look at this. You open the door and at any point it will hold. It will stabilize the whole way out. Instead, you know, with most cars, right, you pull the door out and it's not if it's only gonna stabilize in two positions, like halfway open and then all the way open. Otherwise, you've got to try and get out like this, right? You've got to try and like push it open, keep it open and jump out otherwise it'll slam back on you you know what i mean so that's a quite a ni nice feature of this car this beautiful interior um that's the first thing that just 
took my breath away when I got in this car. Everything is like the pinnacle of luxury here. Look at all of this stitching here on the side. There are some pretty cool features inside the car as well. The finishing here, even on the indicator lever is beautiful. What I think is cool here is this screen. What's gonna happen is when I press the start button, which is here, let's do it now. It turns around. Now this isn't new, right? You guys are like, yeah, lots of cars do that. But what's cool is this screen is triangular. It has three sides. So if you press this screen button, it'll flip again to show these analog displays. This button here is cool. This button here allows you to control all the windows at once. So press this and just head back a tiny bit so you can see. And you see there's no bar here, right? Separating the front and the back. So you've got this beautiful arch here. Now, how do you turn it into sport? This is how, with this little dial here. Just flick that around to sport. Let's hear it. You wanna go around the back? Here, if you go onto navigation, You've got just this little bit here. If you press this button view, what happens is this disappears and it gives you a much bigger view of your navigation. This is how you open the boot with the B. Ta-da! Okay. All right, that is pretty much a, just a little summary for you of the new Bentley Continental GT. Zero to 100, I didn't mention that, it's 3.7 seconds, so it's quite quick. This is how you put the spoiler on. Got a little button here. Click this. Ready to go. guys we're in the garage because I want to show you one more feature and that's the lighting inside you can change all of this lighting here and also over there in that little pocket so this is how you do it you go into car and then settings and then you find um, mood lighting setup and so you've got these two different wheels here so the accent color will change all of these major lights inside. So you can change that to green or red, purple, looks awesome. And then at the same time, over there in that pocket, you can change the ambient color. See it's changed, changed again, changed again. So you can kind of play around with it and get the perfect combination. I quite like red, uh, red lighting inside because it matches the red leather interior, looks incredible uh, when you have both those colors together and then for the pocket lights I'm gonna go blue these lights I really want them for Lucy the projection lights so here it is the beautiful Bentley symbol projected from the door onto the ground I love that You know, Bentley was actually my dream car growing up. I was like, all I want is a Bentley Continental. And I used to look at them on the road and go, oh my God, they're just so classy. I really want one of those. And then when I started testing other cars, I was like, ooh, hang on a minute. I actually like the ones that are super low to the ground, not as, not as luxurious and just super powerful and sound really loud like my Lamborghini. <laughs> so my preferences have changed slightly, um, but I do appreciate how luxurious and just how much attention to detail has been put in this car. It's really quite something. Oh, it's quite fast, yeah. But I don't know if I'd buy this car. I know that sounds really stupid, but you know when I bought my Hurricane, people ask me, so why'd you buy a Hurricane? 
And there are very specific reasons why I bought a Hurricane. I love the sound. I absolutely love the aggressive look of the car. And I think it's easy enough to run about in. It's not too complicated to drive. It's just really fun, fast, sounds great. So there are lots of like key points why I bought it. If someone asked me why I bought a new Bentley Continental GT, I wouldn't know what to say. I'd be like, well, it's comfortable and luxurious, but then there are so many cars, other cars that fit that bill as well. Like an Aston Martin, for example, it's comfortable, it's luxurious. And I actually think the Aston Martin or a few Aston Martins like the Vanquish sound better than this car. Or you could get a Rolls, obviously, um, which I think they've just perfected this kind of driving on a cloud kind of feeling. It just, it is so elevated from any other driving experience. So that's why I'd get a Rolls. And then it comes to Bentley and I'm like, why would I get this car? I think it's a beautiful car. I really do and I appreciate it, but I don't think I would buy one. The Bentley um, Bentayga is a different story. I really, really love that car. It is so quick, super quick. I'm always surprised, like when you put your foot down, it just goes. Thank you to Superior Car Rental as well here in Dubai. So if you come to Dubai, you can actually test this car out for yourself. You can rent it from them. You can go click the link in the bio as well. Uh, I have to honestly say that I love them as a rental company. I use them a lot because they have the best fleet like the newest cars ever. <laughs> so this is from them. So a big thank you to them for letting me test this out today. It's the first time that I'm driving the new Bentley Continental GT. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. My hats are coming out soon. This is my Lucy hat, of course, that goes with my Lamborghini Lucy. It looks like her and my hats are coming out very shortly. I'm going to keep you guys updated throughout my uh, videos on YouTube. So make sure you keep watching because they're going to drop really soon. And I'm super excited about that. I've also got this. Oh, you're wearing a Lucy cap too, Nick. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, same oh, one. Matching. I think they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, I'm still perfecting them. There are going to be slight changes. And it's been like nine months in the making to have these caps be launched. You know to get the right quality the right fit the right designs i've really this is my baby and i want us to be more of a community so that when i fly around the world and i meet you guys uh we're instantly connected i would just absolutely love to see someone with my lucy cap on how cool would that be yeah i'm excited about it thank you guys so so much for your support i love you so much you mean the world to me thank you so much for watching without you I couldn't be doing this, so I really appreciate it. I love you so much. Mwah. I'm out.